Hi Pisces, welcome to your March Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Happy birthday Pisces. And tonight is the new moon in Pisces. So I'm doing your readings first this month since you are the birthday babies. All right, so we're looking at your love situation no matter what it may be Pisces. So do keep in mind if something shows up here you're not interested in, it's probably not your reading. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies around anytime you need to. Cross watchers as well. All right, Pisces. March, love. Let's see. We have well being, and we have 21, which is three. Three is about growth and expansion. So thinking about maybe your own well being at this time. And we have unconditional love 42 which is six which is a very healing balanced energy and then we have grateful 47 which is 11 life path soul path energy and then we have awareness 30 another three hmm so we do have unconditional love here I'm feeling like Pisces, you might have taken a step back because you have to think about yourself, your own well-being. Um, maybe you were giving too much into the connection. Usually the ones watching this, that's usually how it goes. One won't commit or they're in and out or whatever the case may be. And you maybe may have been feeling like, you know what, I need to stay, step back, take care of me, do me, let them do or deal with whatever they're doing. But just know that the love between you is unconditional. So I think they're very aware of, you know, the circumstances, the love between you, you know, the energy. They're very well aware you have unconditional love for them and um, grateful as well. So, I mean, you could be grateful for the lessons maybe you learned through this or they're very aware and grateful for you. Maybe they had to step back to take care of themselves as well. So it could go either way here. But there is unconditional love here. So Pisces, let's see what's going on. What is going on in your love situation? So I want to know, I think what I'm going to do here is a little something a little different. I want to clarify like each of these cards. And then we'll get like an outcome, like advice, guidance, outcome, um, kind of energy right so let's take a look at well-being why is that here well there you are pisces so i did say perhaps it was you there's the moon taking a step back six of swords yeah so i feel like um you needed to get out of rocky water so i don't know what was happening between the two of you um definitely feeling like there was either too much turbulence or rocky energy going on let's see why is that here queen of wands Hmm. Let's see. Queen of Wands. The Hierophant in reverse. Nope, that is the four. That is the Emperor. Emperor. I believe that is the Emperor in reverse. And the Four of Cups. So I definitely feel like here, um, you know, your person could have been very flirty with other people. Doesn't mean that they were, you know, fooling around with other people, but the Queen of Wands, sometimes they could say, take as the other woman. I'm getting more of an energy, definitely someone not committal, unsure what they want with that Emperor in Reverse and the Four of Cups, like, hmm, I just don't know. Um, they could have been, you know, very flirty with other people. I'm kind of getting that with the Queen of Wands. There's no doubt there's attraction and fire passion between the two of you, but I definitely feel like you felt you needed to go your own way for a while here with that Six of Swords and the moon energy just for your own well-being and kind of let them sort their own issues out for pentacles definitely a lot of holding back here stubbornness holding back indecisive energy here with the two of swords i don't know if somebody uh, maybe was going through divorce maybe because we do have justice here or some sort of legal matters ace of pentacles so there's maybe a chance for a new beginning here but i feel like somebody sabotaged the promise of a new beginning with you so let's see we have libra aries twice there and that's you pisces so yeah they were indecisive holding back maybe they were going through divorce or something like that and you know i think they again there's the attraction the passion with the ace of wands 
but I definitely feel like you have stuck in their head, but we definitely have a soulmate energy here with the Two of Cups. So, what was hiding behind this Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, Sabotage here with the Five of Swords. So either they know they ruined a good thing, or they sabotaged the promise of the new beginning with you because they were holding back, indecisive, stubborn, uh, not sure what they wanted, inconsistent, in and out, non-committal. I don't know if it was due to divorce or whatever here. Maybe they're flirting with other people. I don't know. But you're like, yeah, I kind of not dealing along with that. And you kind of moved, not moved on, but maybe went in your own way for a while. Let them sort their ish out. All right. So let's see what the unconditional love is here for. Now, I definitely feel like there's that love connection between the two of you. All right. What is the unconditional love about here for Pisces? Chariot. So things I think were moving forward between the two of you. Maybe on the way to commitment here. Maybe it was moving forward very, very fast into like a full-blown relationship very quickly. And then we have the Page of Wands. Star. And the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So, <sighs> I'm on the bottom. Knight of Pentacles. There's usually about slow walking. Um, I definitely feel like there's slow walking. Knight of Pentacles maybe wanting to be single. But the way it was moving forward here just kind of paid the weight for heartache here. But let's see, we have Taurus showing up, Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like here, um, Pisces, maybe you are like, wow, this is moving forward fast. It, it's, it feels good. It feels like a wish come true. Happiness well on our way to commitment here with the Queen of Pentacles. That is for sure, but then, you know, we kind of have, well, maybe someone Nine of Pentacles saying, mm, well, maybe I, I kind of want to stay single, single for a little bit here, which is very heartbreaking as well. Because Four of Wands can be about commitment. Page of Wands is kind of like good news. Could, again, could be a lot of flirting, um, a lot of hot, heavy messages between you, sexy time maybe. And just feeling really, I feel an energy here of this feeling like really good about the love moving forward. It was definitely, definitely moving forward at a good pace, maybe a little quicker than anticipated, but feeling like, wow, this is well on our way to commitment when then somebody backstepped it here with the nine of pentacles. That's kind of what I feel here. <sighs> See, we have Cancer, Sag, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, sadly, of course, Taurus, Scorpio. There you are, Pisces, Five of Pentacles. And so I think, you know, in reverse, though, it was kind of like getting out of the cold, um, end of separation. So definitely you could have cut off contact here. This is you again, Pisces, with this person. But in a way, maybe, you know, there's been kind of like an ending. I feel like ending of all communication. But it's there's some sort of call to action here, too, I feel. Judgment here. So somebody's making a judgment We'll see if it's them. So we have Scorpio showing up now. All right, so let's see Grateful. What is that for? I think there's something with the masculine because Emperor is in reverse. He still needs to do a lot of healing. It is attached, the star, with the uh, Emperor. Again, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, he, he could be very, very flirty. That is for sure. And again, with that Six of Swords, is again moving, traveling, with the four of wands commitment, you know, whatever that means for you, you felt like this is very much moving in that direction here. But now someone's unsure if they want to be committed. Queen of Pentacles with the four of cups. And the moon, you know, can be fear, illusion, secrets. Um, so somebody definitely had a lot of fear about moving this forward in the direction of commitment with you Pisces. So let's see what the grateful card is for. Pisces. Six of Cups. Hmm. The world. Some of you have a child or children with this person. All right, let's see. Lovers in reverse. 
Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords. So it's kind of like being grateful for the love you did experience, maybe for the short amount of time with this person, because maybe, you know, for the short amount of time when it felt like it was really moving forward, it was really good. But then I feel like a decision was made here with the lovers in reverse. And then the energy is stuck here with the Eight of Swords. If you did have, I mean, the Six of Cups can indicate a child, a uh, past life connection, um, something returning from the past. Again, some of you may be hoping they come around for another cycle. Um, but I kind of see the world, she's kind of looking back at the Six of Cups like, okay, I'm kind of grateful for what we had in the past. Um, but I kind of realize now that it's not going to happen or work out grateful for the love or the love we did experience maybe for the short amount of time but now it's just stuck here because we do have that ace of cups you know you could be grateful too that they didn't lead you on you know more and more and for a longer amount of time you could be like well i'm glad you were up front with me either right away or after a short amount of time so you didn't leave me hanging for months and months and months and months you know, there could be little things here you're grateful here for, but I, I did see a lot of heartache and pain associated with this as well. Now we have the King of Cups. That could be, that's you as well, Pisces. Seven Pentacles. So there's a lot of waiting here, but the Ace of Swords is clarity from source. Usually that could be uh, communication. Clearing of the ear, cutting away what's no longer serving. Five of Pentacles, Devil in Reverse, which is good. But still kind of holding back here and no real like uh, romantic gestures or apologies. But somebody's getting over fear, doubt, worry, stress, anxiety, obsessive energy or thinking or whatever that may be. I'm getting a lot of back and forth energy here where they could be considering it coming back for um, another try or let's do this again or let's see where it goes. But then they don't. So it's a lot of back and forth energy here. So let's see, we do have Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, the two Pisces, Capricorn, Pisces again. <sighs> All right, so I think they're aware that they may need to make a decision. In a way, you kind of made the decision for them, but they need to know they really either need to tell you, like, I'm, like, I'm sorry, but... You know, it's just never going to be, or if there's still that energy in the air, well, it still could be. They need to really set the record straight here is kind of what I'm feeling. And they're aware that that energy is lingering, I feel. All right, so let's see what this awareness is. You Pisces, what is this awareness? Yeah, King of Cups and the Three of Wands. It's like they know you're waiting on them. Um, three of Wands about waiting for your destiny to come in here. You know it's coming in. So I think they kind of know, I, 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 well, definitely they know in a way that you're kind of hoping or sensing or feeling like they're going to come back or there's going to be another chance or another go, go around or something here. And they know they either need to just set the record straight or make up their mind or whatever the case may be. King of Wands. Well, we've got the King and Queen of Wands here. So there's no doubt about the match in, of the attraction the fire, the passion between you. That's that's a match. Page of Pentacles. Mm, they could be coming in with the offer. See, they are aware they need to come with the offer. They know that it's definitely a fiery match between you, and I know you're not a fire sign. Page of Swords. Mm, page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. So that's definitely the communication here. With an offer. So they definitely know that. And we have the Three of Wands, and he's holding the other one, which is the Four of Wands, which we have up here. So we have Pisces, Leo, Capricorn, Aquarius. So yeah, see, I, a lot of back and forth energy, Two of Pentacles. I definitely felt that. Knight of Pentacles has been a long time coming, and the longer they wait and don't make any moves or set the record straight, the longer and the longer you're feeling uh, deceived here. But here's the offer coming in on the Wand with the Six of Wands. Very, very quickly here with the Knight of Swords. 
So they're stressing out about this nine of swords. There's some sort of call to action here. Call to action. Review, life review, relationship review. Soul contract, past lives, things meant to be. So let's see, Scorpio, final decision here. Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. All right, so let's see, Pisces, what's going to happen here. Now, if a lot of you are saying, I'm done, I don't ever want that person back, then that's that, that could be your case. Um, maybe some of you, it's just not your reading, but let's see here. What's like the outcome? Let's kind of see what's going to happen, like outcome, advice, intention, like what is the overall energy here? Are they going to come finally come forward? We do have a lot of communication here, just saying. Knight of Pentacles, so taking a long hot minute here but that knight usually does cross the finish line two of pentacles there's that back and forth energy king of pentacles oh my gosh we have the king queen of pentacles and the king of queen of wands and they're all upright seven of pentacles so there's been a lot of waiting here and the queen of cups we did see the king of cups right here oh my god so no wonder why it's unconditional love you have three matches here we don't have the swords but that's because there hasn't been that clarity the communication but they're definitely juggling it back and forth here this could be um, maybe in the next couple weeks um, as well so they're definitely thinking about here coming forward and giving you their love uh, offering their love being more stable and grounded, being committed. So they're definitely juggling this back and forth, and they know it's been a long time coming here. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Magician in reverse, though. The Nine of Cups. So a lot of back and forth energy, and you're kind of standing your ground here as the Empress. You know what you deserve. Nine of Pentacles, single. You know, you don't really need anybody. But we do have the commitment card here, doing the moral and just right thing. Taurus energy. Seven of Wands in reverse could be letting down our guard. Two of Wands uh, choosing a new path. So, I mean, we do have the strength in reverse, which means they're probably not confident enough yet. But the Ten of Pentacles is here. So there is possibly a chance here. Let's see, we have Leo... Leo, Leo, we have Taurus doing the moral just right thing. That could be commitment. With the Hierophant, we have Libra, Taurus, and Gemini, Virgo. So they're thinking about it, definitely here. The, no one, I, I could see why they're aware. They know they have to make that offer or set the record straight. They do. They're definitely on the fence going back and forth. I think it's just a matter of time here. So let's see, um, I think in the next couple of weeks, that could, they could be reaching out for communication because I mean, we have a lot of communication right here and that could be the starting point where you either tell them I'm totally done or they may say let's just start over or let's try or can we just talk. But they're definitely back and forth here, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> I don't have any definite answer for you, but for some of you, this is about what you've been waiting for. Some of you um, will kind of be on the fence here and will kind of probably say no. So it's going to be different for everyone. All right, so let's see. But, I mean, there is love here. I mean, we have three matching couples. So, all right, so let's see what else we need to know here for Pisces. Rabbit could be very fertile time so just be careful for just stability foundation then we have fox which is eight travel communication i believe in this deck the fox isn't always like a bad sneaky energy they kind of prepare um they're very clever so it's an energy of preparing cleverness prosperity arrival of a harvest so this person, you know, they could be coming back and with the King, Queen of Wands here in the Six of Cups, be careful because if you don't have a child with this person, again, Rabbit is a very fertile energy. The Chimera. So that is 38. So let me just look that one up for you. 38 here. Let's see. 
compromise between opposites, balance, finding a way to bring it all together, creativity. Wow, so there could be a, an energy here of coming together and uh, compromising. Bringing balance. So we have fire. Uh, we have fire element into earth element. Butterfly transformation 30, which is three. Growth expansion. So expanding, growing, and there's the transformation. Well, just saying. Now we have air energy showing up. Now we have water. And you are a water sign, Pisces. And we have 12, which is three. Again, growth expansion. Water. It's cleansing. It's purging. It's healing. It's diving deep into emotions and feelings. It's about going with the flow. Just letting be, you know, happen what happened here as well. Wow. So there is a chance here for transformation. For some of you in working this out definitely here i think they've been on the fence about it so some you can work this out some again some of you may say no i'm done with that person and that could be it but every case is different so anyway pisces that's what i have again everything you need to know is down below your playlist list of readings i do here if you're new I do like eight different love readings a month and you can check out my smaller channel if you like general type readings uh your monthly march readings out over there for health wealth and destiny with spirit messages that is already out over there the link is below you can check that out so wishing you the best pisces happy birthday and i shall see you next time